Good, I'm Martin Tyler and this is the Medeski Stadium. Monday night football from the Barclays Premier League. Reading against Arsenal. And Arsenal, with happy memories of this stadium, they were majestic at the Medeski in this fixture last season. Reading's first season, of course, at the very top level of English football. Well, Arsenal showed them what life at the top was all about. They romped it by four goals to nil. Harper, who started with Arsenal. Well, Sonko's not going to get there, and Adebayor hits the outside of the post. And he had a chance here to end his barren run. And this is Harper taking too long on the ball. It's a great little pass through for Adebayor, he uses his pace, he's in a great position. Almost does everything perfectly well. He just doesn't get that little bit of coming back on the ball for him. Agonisingly, it's the outside of the post, and it's eight games without a goal for him, and that will play on his confidence in front of the goal, maybe. And the acceleration that he showed past Sonko. And I'll encourage Adebayor that there may be more openings in the offing here. Sure, he'll join up with England tomorrow. For the uh, friendly away to Austria on Friday, and then what yet might be a critical uh, game in the Euro 2008 qualifying section, home to Croatia next uh, on a week on Wednesday, is Keta. And the uh, run by Harper, stretching Arsenal's midfield, the former Arsenal midfield player. to him, Inspector Flamini again, and now Fabregas, Marcus Hanneman saw it all the way, well, half an hour gone, third of the game gone, Arsenal, uh, apart from the odd day, and uh, today is one of those days, they've been uh, top since mid-September, They win by two here. And, uh, at the moment, they're making sure they defend properly as good as some shoots. And Almunia stops them going one down. That was a nice strike, and as soon as Goodison picks this up, it's a nice ball in. Just takes it down, gets it out of his feet, and let's go. It's always a comfortable height. Never really troubling Almunia too much. Comfortable save to make. Ebuwe, Adebayor, here comes Slip, chance for Arsenal, Flamini! Arsene Wenger sees the breakthrough at last, two minutes before half-time. We'd have to think at some stage that Arsenal would carve Redding open. And again, it's where there's space this time, it's a great little pass. This from Adebayor, a clev. Sometimes I just wish, well, I can't say he's made the wrong decision because Flamini scored, but I just think he could score more goals himself, Clev, with the ability he's got. A very tight pass that he plays. Great determination and desire from Flamini to get there. Yes, so, he's forced it into the net. And uh, Reading's resistance, which has been stern and manful, is cracked. Club, had a by or lovely link up with Flamini. Good pace by Rosicki. Had a by or and the Hanneman turns it behind as uh, Flamini looks to uh, get his uh, second and Arsenal's second here. It was a nice break again from Arsenal, though, wasn't it? Ball into Adeboyo, a little set off. They just create the chance, but uh, it's still a shot from distance. And I thought maybe Hanneman could have stopped that going for a corner and, and maybe kept hold of it. Well, in fact, it was going wide anyway, wasn't it, if he'd really got his bearings right. But it's uh, the first corner for Arsenal, five minutes into the second half. Taken by 
Fabregas. Kleb. Counted by Hunt. Kleb still finds uh, Adebayor. Through the legs of Doyle. Just feel it won't be long before he gets back to uh, hitting the back of the net. Well, he's knocking on the door, it's a lovely bit of skill to make the, the chance for himself, but then he's just got to concentrate and try and hit the target. Off the head of Harper, but it drops only for Fabregas. Kleb. And Bayor is so important to the way Arsenal play. He runs at Sonko here. Mazetsky, Fabregas is there. Adebayor said it wouldn't be long. 2-0. And he's ended his drought, which goes back to September. They're pleased for him, and they're very pleased for themselves. The two-goal margin, if maintained, will take them back above Manchester United. I did have a little bit of a question mark over the goalkeeper when I saw this go in, but uh, probably get a better idea from the replays. Lovely play, gets a bit of space, drives quickly, little overlap, he plays it in, into Fabregas, sets it back, controlled finish, hardly any backlift. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on Hanneman here, maybe he's unsighted, he's got a great little bit of out to in. It's a great finish, controlled finish, oh, I couldn't blame the goalkeeper for that. Kleb, oh, there's uh, problems here, mounting for Reading again, Adebayor almost walks it in, and Arsenal are denied the uh, goal by the offside flag, the roars from the Arsenal fans. That's yeah, great play from Kleb in the first instance, changes the play right to the other side, just think he delays the pass, just that fraction too long, oh, there's no way it's offside. No way at all. No way, it's a poor decision. Timed his pass perfectly. I mean, I was, it was the only thing I think was that he uh, just delayed it that fraction, but looking at the replay, it's no way is that offside. That's a very, very poor decision from Roger East. Rosetsky. <laughs> like that training game, ten passes and you get a goal. <laughs> And they'd be winning about 10-0 if it was that. <laughs> yeah, they would. Here's Adebayor. Fabregas. He fired it in at Kleb. It's been too much of a goal threat from Arsenal's leading scorer in all competitions this season. Oh, shuffle or two from Oster, but... Uh, no uh, pass at the end of it. Oh, that stood off uh, Gunnison's foot. It's Kleb. Is he going to score this time? There's the answer. And it's Reading nil, Arsenal three with 13 minutes to go. Well, he is a little genius, this fella, but he uh, certainly should score more goals. I thought he'd actually lost the opportunity here. Poor play by Oster, giving the ball away. Well, it's not like they got them really quickly. Get a little bit fortunate the way it falls to him. But fleet of foot just skips across. Thinks about trying to shoot. And Adaman goes down, blocks his way. And then he just turns out of that situation and opens the ball up for himself or opens a goal up for himself. There it is, great feet. And it opens a, the goal. And it's, it's a good finish in the end. I thought he may have just lost the opportunity. It's that touch there. <laughs> the way that he moves his feet away from the ball. Ingham Arsenal. Oh, uh, Icelandic defender. Making good ground and getting a free kick here. Double assault there. Ibo oh, and Diara. Reading substitute John Oster. Trying to. Uh, in fact, leaving it to Nicky Shorey who hits the post. Armonia went for it. Shorey has thought he's got a goal against uh, Portsmouth recently, but the dubious goals panel took that off him. 
He uh, would have been credited with this one if it had crept in. Yeah, that's unlucky, isn't it? It's a good effort. Faye, nicely timed ball by Austin Murty, kept running on the outside. In towards Kitson. To a uh, stopping him turning, but the Reading have got a lot in as they usually do. And they've hit the post. And Hunt, and they got one back through Nicky Shoring with four minutes to go. Numbers in the box paying off for Steve Koppel as it has done in their short Premier League lives. Yeah, that is only a consolation. It's good old up play by Kitts and sets it back. First one across the boot, defends well. Maybe gets it up and in the box steals a great header. Comes back, Hunt onto it, gets a deflection, falls nicely for Shorey. He's got an open the goal to stick it into but doesn't miss. And that'll make Reading just feel a little bit better about things but... Uh, doesn't get them any extra points, I'm afraid. Good effort by Reading. And Arsenal take the points. And Arsenal lead the Barclays Premier League again. Reading 1, Arsenal 3.